Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be doing a tier list of every MLB team, so let's get right into it. Subscribe and like if you have not already. All right, you guys might be asking yourselves, well, Sentry, what is different between this and the power rankings? Uh, I don't know. They just, these have both been requested to me, and I do both of them a lot, so let's do it. Starting off with the Diamondbacks. Kind of on this brink right here, they're getting better. I think that they're probably still below average team, but they are definitely better. The Braves are a great team. I don't think they're one of the elites anymore. They've fallen off a little bit. Other teams around them have gotten better. Orioles are going to go into the South solid team they pro they proved it to us last year that they could actually go on a run Gunnar Henderson Adley Rushman Grayson Rodriguez that's his name I think Red Sox below average I don't really like this roster Los Xander I mean is Devers is going to be gone soon. I don't really know. All right, here we go. Cubs, I'm going to go solid. They got much better. They got Dansby. They got Tyon Bellinger. This is a team that got way better. Probably can make a playoff push if you ask me. White Sox, I think with the Benintendi signing, I think they reestablished themselves as one of the greats. I'm going to move the screen down a little bit, but White Sox, you know, they probably would have been in my elite. I think I actually predicted them to win the World Series last year. That did not go well at all, but I think this year they've reestablished themselves. They got a new manager, new clubhouse. Everything's going to be fresh. They will be better. The Reds are not good. Apparently, they think Will Myers is going to help. Guardians are a great team. They are one of the greats. They got Josh Bell to add to this already really good team that actually platoons a little bit. Now, you got some flexibility with Naylor. He's just not really good against lefties. Rockies, another really bad team. Didn't do anything. Tigers, uh, probably another level of bad. Can't really put them anywhere else after seeing what they did this year. It was bad. Astros, elite. Just won the World Series. How about that? Royals, um, probably below average. I don't know if they're one of the other level of bads this is like bottom five this is top five you know you could do what you want in between there angels uh probably solid probably like the bottom of solid you know pretty decent roster they did get better man renfro to add to that outfield is kind of nasty dodgers whew, dude they haven't put it together in the postseason yet are they one of the elites you know what i'm gonna make a bold statement no but well, they're going at the top because they're gonna be the first team looking in just thought about every other team that's on here they're going to be the first one looking in marlon Orleans, uh, probably the bottom of below average. I think that's what I had them in, like, in power rankings, relatively. Brewers, as much as I hate to say this, they're probably still solid. Like, their pitching's just kind of too good. As much as it hurts, because, you know, they don't really do anything. The Mets are one of the elite, and they spend a lot of money. One game is here, Buck Showalter's there. I mean... They got what they got stuff going for them. The Yankees are one of the greats. They're not one of the elites. I think it solely has to do with how many young guys are gonna have to play this year and how much we really haven't seen them very much. The A's are one of the bad ones, yes. Don't need to say much about it. I like was shocked. I just watched Moneyball again and was like, dude, this guy's still on the A's. The Phillies, welcome to the elite. First time I've gotten to say that, really. The Phillies are among the elite, and if you try to tell me otherwise, you're incorrect. Pirates, they are the last really, really bad team. Actually, I made an executive decision the tigers will move up to below average and i'm gonna get this out of the way with now the nationals are the last another level of bad team the padres i think have inserted themselves as one of the elite five yes and you might be mad that they're, they're above the dodgers they are to me roster i think is better machado tati soto bogarts that's just four monsters dodgers man they're getting a little bit dry i mean not really but like you know for the dodgers will smith mookie Betts, freddie freeman those are your three guys but i like the Padres four to go against those three any day. Mariners are in the greats. Team that just went on a little bit of a playoff run. Got stumped, though, by the Astros. Need to figure out how to beat them. Giants. I think in power rankings, I put them below average. In reality like in this range rather but in reality they're probably a solid team they made good moves they made good pitching moves got an outfielder or two we'll see how they do ah the last elite team the cardinals this is a way different looking tier list than the last time we did it so i could tell you that probably four new teams in the elite maybe three it is kind of crazy man i mean this it's flopped over they got wilson Contreras. that was really all they needed to do the rays I'll put them in solid. I know that they're probably just going to go on like a 150 win year, of course. But dude, they lost platoon guys now too. Rangers, in reality, they are solid. They are not the greatest. Twins, I'm going to put them below average. I don't like the Twins roster, man. Buxton, Arias, and Arias apparently is going to get traded. I don't really know. They're kind of all over the place. Last but not least, the Blue Jays. I think they are one of the greats. They are not one of the elites. They got better this offseason, but they are not elite. All right, that's the tier list. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.